Hi, Kim West, The Sleep Lady, and today I'm going to answer Christy's question. She wrote in the following, we used your technique on my child when she was about six months old. It worked really well. She's eight months old now and has recently learned to pull herself up to a standing position in, the, in her crib. If she woke in the middle of the night when she was younger, she would just crawl around a bit, fuss after a few minutes, and go back to sleep. Now, she's unstable, so we're worried about her falling and hurting herself on the crib. We've tried going in and laying her back down and then leaving the room, but she gets right back up. My husband must have gone in 50 times within 30 minutes until she finally fell asleep. Is this what we should be doing? Once she's stable enough, then we aren't worried about her falling anymore. Should we not go in and lay her down? Oh, Christy, you know what? I can't begin to tell you how often I get this uh, question. So I'm going to make sure when I re-edit my book to add in a section about this because I don't have one in there now. This is a big milestone. Can you imagine if you spent most of your life on your hands and knees or on your back and all of a sudden now you're upright? The whole world looks completely different. It's pretty amazing and they want to practice it all the time. <laughs> Not just during the day, but in the crib. And you're right, they do go through this phase where they don't know how to and then they lock their knees and clam onto the, onto the crib railing and they don't know how to get down. It must be kind of scary for them. Um, and you'd think that if you help lay them down, they would just go back to sleep, but they're not like, oh, no, hey, I want to practice that again. That was kind of fun. Um, so what I would do is until she learns how to do it, because I agree, I don't want her flinging herself back and banging her head and that's stressful. And then she's crying and hysterical and has a, you know, a bump on her head. Totally understand. So instead, I want you to practice a lot during the day. Okay, so when she pulls herself up on the couch, I want you to take a toy, put it near her, a little bit out of reach, so she has to get down and crawl over to you to come get whatever, let's say a ball. Um, and you might even have to take one of her hands and help kind of like encourage her down. Um, if you have to put the ball down, take one of her hands and gently press her knees in the back. I'm not talking about a karate chop. Just gently press her so she goes back down and then crawls over to get the ball and be like, yay. And you can even play ring around the rosy where you get on your knees and you hold both of her hands and you're stand, you know, up on your knees, you, you know, ring around the rosy. We all fall down and then you plop mama onto the bottom on your bottom. And then you encourage her to do the same thing again. Might have to take her hand, push in her knees a little bit lie down until she really masters it. She should be able to get this in about a week, something like that. Sometimes it can take two weeks, but usually if you're really on it during the day, they'll get the skill. And then once you start to see her doing it, of course, constantly encouraging her to get, oh, look, you know, there's your toy or there's this or come over here or that kind of thing. Um, once you see her doing it, then you're right. I would go in, I would go to the crib side, pat the mattress, say, lie down, sweetie pie. And once she lies herself down, quick stroke and leave the room. Um, you will have to stop getting into that pattern of, of lying her down. So in the meantime, while she's learning how to do this, and uh, you go in and instead of going in and out and in and out 40 times in, in, or 30 times in 50 minutes or whatever it was, 50 times in 30 minutes, um, I would go in and, you know, maybe sit by her crib and wait for her to like relax a little bit and then you know gently lie her down try to maybe you know unlatch a hand and encourage her to lie down and then maybe stay rub her back a little bit um, you know just to try to encourage her to stay lying down and stay by the crib side maybe sit down and when she starts to get up say shh 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 nai nai and encourage her to stay back down. You might as well just tell you or your husband just to, to stay next to her crib until she's completely back asleep because it just will be plain less exhausting for you uh, during the night until she masters the skill during the day. So thanks for asking that very common question. I hope that helps.